like the overall um, query works. So now what I gotta do is link those two. And like, I don't know at all how to do that. I, I just want to do like, this is like some sort of filtering, I think. And I just do, I just want to have this first of all. I don't understand, I, I really don't understand this. Maybe I have to, to finish the book first, but I really don't understand it. Okay, so if I, if I like do this command again. Okay, so see, I've only got this joinable. And this is a nullable in four. I don't even know what an in four is. Okay, yeah, so this is the like typed out version of, of the macro. But how do I fucking join things? Yeah, but I don't want filters, I just want to join stuff. Like, it can't be that difficult. Like, at this point, I feel like it's it's easier for me to manually type out the SQL requests and somehow brute force them into this application. Why? Why are here structs? I do not understand it. Why don't I have structs if he is using structs here? What am I doing differently? Ah, this is so frustrating. It's so fucking frustrating right now. I'm deriving stuff here. So this is probably the, 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 the struct which is also here. So I also need to derive probably like identifiable. I need to derive association and the user belongs to company. So I have to get the nullable ID again. Uh, so nullable integer. Oh, not even close. Four hours, holy shit. The trade standard compare equal is not implemented for company. No idea what that means. Trade hash is not implemented for company. I feel like we're I feel like we're getting closer to to the um, to the goal here. Use of undeclared creator module users. I still don't know what that does, what, what that means. Probably like that this somehow doesn't work, but it should work because I didn't change anything. Maybe it shouldn't be identifiable. That's one thing I added where it, where I don't know what it is. That's not it though. Let's delete the associations. Now it works. Okay, so it was the associations. Okay. So he isn't he isn't using diesel and at this point I feel like I should do the same. Because like SQL queries aren't that hard to do for the few data types that I have. On two tables to be referenced in a joint query. Okay, 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 wait a second. I think I think I got it. Okay, I think I'm just really stupid. So I obviously need to go into the main query, the, the query root, because I need to change the DSL. I don't want an inner join, I want a left outer join, if that's possible at all. Now he can't find users. What happens if I do this? Okay, so maybe now that I joined this, he is looking for an option of a company he right here. That would explain why there's more missing than available. It doesn't though. Not even in the slightest. My brain's really not um, doing great at the moment. I'm really struggling with understanding what's going on. And I need to um, choose my courses for uni until in like 15 minutes. So I'll end the stream early. I'm sorry that I couldn't do anything. The person I disappointed the most was me today. Okay, let me copy that in. That seems that seems good. We obviously want a connection, but we don't want to use the DSL stuff. We want to use schema users and use schema companies. Oh man, this seems like it could work and do the expect thing. Bring this up and delete this. Ah, but that solution doesn't work because we don't have just one user. Wait a second, okay, okay, okay. Hear me out. This may not be 
the best solution. But at least it would be a solution. And then this is the ID. Let ID equals that. So now we are querying the, the companies. So now we have a vector of companies limited to one. And then we can just if companies dot len equals zero, then please return none, else return sum of companies zero. So let's do dot filter id dot equal company id. Got no compiler errors. Server's running. What if I go for a company? <gasps> ID. Oh my god. Name. Yes! Yes! Okay. It's ugly as hell. It will need refactoring in the future. But it works. Okay, this is so cool. This is awesome. Okay, now we need to do it the other way around. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos. On the left, you can see the next Ross Devlog, and on the right, you can see a video that YouTube thinks you really enjoy.